Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friday, the 7th of July, 2023, of the 13th week in Ordinary Time. It ought not to seem much to me to serve you, but this rather does appear great and wonderful to me, that you vouchsafe to receive one so wretched and unworthy for your servant, and invite me to thy beloved. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, our Savior, let us now come to you. Our hearts are cold. Lord, warm them with your selfless love. Our hearts are sinful. Cleanse them with your precious blood. Our hearts are weak. Strengthen them with your joyous spirit. Our hearts are empty. Fill them with your divine presence. Lord Jesus, our hearts are yours. Possess them always and only for yourself. Amen. This prayer is from St. Augustine. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word a mere word from our Lord as he passed by, energized Matthew to break free of the paralyzing effects of sin and to follow Jesus. The love that Rebecca has when she sees Isaac walking through the fields toward us prefigures the love we show our Lord who has sought us out and espoused us to himself in the Incarnation. The promise made to Abraham, I will give this land to your descendants, is fulfilled in the preaching of the apostles who carry the gospel to the ends of the earth. The Epistle In his love for Rebekah, Isaac found solace after the death of his mother Sarah. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 23, verse 1. The span of Sarah's life was 127 years. She died in Kiriath Arba, that is, Hebron, in the land of Canaan, and Abraham performed the customary mourning rite for her. Then he left the side of his dead one and addressed the Hittites. Although I am a resident alien among you, sell me from your holdings a piece of property for a burial ground that I may bury my dead wife. After the transaction, Abraham buried his wife Sarah in the cave of the field of Machbelah, facing Mamre, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan. Abraham had now reached a ripe old age, and the Lord had blessed him in every way. Abraham said to the senior servant of his household, who had charge of all his possessions, Put your hand under my thigh, and I will make you swear by the Lord, that the God of heaven and the God of earth, that you will not procure a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites among whom I live, but that you will go to my own land and to my kindred to get a wife for my son Isaac. The servant asked him, What if the woman is unwilling to follow me to this land? Should I then take your son back to the land from which you migrated? Never take my son back there for any reason, Abraham told him. The Lord, the God of heaven, who took me from my father's house in the land of my kin, who confirmed by oath the promise he then made to me, I will give this land to your descendants, He will send his messenger before you, and you will obtain a wife for my son there. 
If the woman is unwilling to follow you, you will be released from this oath. But never take my son back there. A long time later, Isaac went to live in the region of the Negev. One day, toward evening, he went out. In the field, as he looked around, he noticed the camels were approaching. Rebecca, too, was looking about, and when she saw him, she alighted from her camel and asked the servant, Who is the man out there walking through the fields toward us? That is my master, replied the servant. Then she covered herself with her veil. The servant recounted to Isaac all the things he had done. Then Isaac took Rebekah into his tent. He married her, and thus she became his wife. In his love for her, Isaac found solace after the death of his mother, Sarah. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 106 Responsorial Verse Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Who can tell the mighty deeds of the Lord or proclaim all His praises? Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Blessed are they who observe what is right, who do always what is just. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Visit me with your saving help, that I may see the prosperity of your chosen ones. Rejoice in the joy of your people, and glory with your inheritance. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia The Gospel Those who are well do not need a physician. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 9, verse 9. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but the sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation. The Lord had blessed him in every way. Genesis chapter 24, verse 1 As he neared the end of his life, Abraham looked back over his journey of fellowship with the Lord, and as he did, his heart swelled with gratitude over God's faithfulness to his promises. The Lord had brought him into the promised land and had given him and his wife Sarah the gift of their son, Isaac. It was these memories of God's goodness that guided Abraham as he moved forward with the Lord.
Abraham had just purchased his first tiny holding in the Promised Land, a burial place for Sarah who had just died. Through his grief, he considered the one thing that remained to be settled, finding a good wife for Isaac. When Abraham sent his trusted servant back to his kinsmen in search of a bride for his son, the servant asked, What if the woman is unwilling to follow me to this land? Should I then take your son back to the land? Genesis chapter 24 verse 5 Abraham didn't hesitate to answer, Never! Having come this far on his journey, he knew there was no turning back for him or any member of his family. God's faithfulness had guided him as he had raised Isaac and made a life in the promised land. And that faithfulness guided how he looked into the future. Because God had provided for him, Abraham knew he could count on God to provide for Isaac as well. As he did with Abraham, God has made promises to us. He promises to be with us always. Matthew chapter 28 verse 20 He promises us forgiveness of our sins. John chapter 20 verse 23 and he promises eternal life to all who believe. John chapter 5 verse 24 As we look over our lives, we are sure to see signs of God's faithfulness to these promises. Maybe it was an unexpected sense of peace in the midst of the trying time. Maybe it was a sense of freedom after you confessed your sin. Or maybe it was a sudden feeling of eager expectation for heaven. All these are proofs that God is watching over you and blessing you. God is faithful. Let that truth help you, like Abraham, respond to him with your own faithfulness. Let it convince you that you can count on His provision for you and your family long into the future. Father, thank you for your promises. Help me to look back on your faithfulness and move forward with hope. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May His peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.